So we need six dice. Four bechamel. Fives and sixes get dark stone. One through four get corruption points. Okay. So three dark stone and two corruption for bechamel. Uh, except that wasn't six dice, was it? I don't know why I thought that was six. Um, so she gets another dark stone. Nice. So, hey, we got some dark stone we could potentially trick out some stuff. Uh, not that we necessarily have the money for it. Maybe we'll just sell it. And then Pete. Ooh, that is pretty, pretty horrible. Um, let's, uh, you know, he'll use a grit to re-roll. These. Helped a little bit. Um, the other thing is, and that will be four points of corruption, although he does get to remove one corruption, or Bechamel, oh no, Bechamel has no fortune, so Bechamel cannot let him reroll. All right, so that is what he gets. Four corruption and two dark stone. And that's, uh, well, so hey, we've managed to get a little bit of dark stone this session. Uh, so that will be, uh, that'll be useful. Um, we'll probably, again, we'll probably end up trying to sell most of it since we can't actually use it. Uh, unless we get enough money collected, which I don't think we're going to, but maybe, uh, to, to install anything. Besides the fact that we do need a better weapon for Doc, potentially. Weapons, plural. So, and that was the first encounter. What is the second encounter? Pestilence flies. Blah. The buzzing from up ahead is nearly deafening. As you get closer, shining light into the room, the air is thick with a mass of black flies swarming around a large carcass. It all kind of makes sense in this room where there's all those corpses and stuff. You begin to cough and choke as the disease-ridden insects buzz all around you, getting into your eyes, nose, and mouth. Heroes on this map tile may not use grit. Ugh. So I guess technically, I guess he couldn't have used, I don't know what the order is. I think you're supposed to do one at a time. So we'll say, since we did them in order, this only takes effect now. Each Every hero then takes D3 corruption hits. Okay. Uh, then roll a D6 and they can draw loot cards and things like that. Oh, you know what? Actually, was those... Oh, no, those... So the other ones were actually corruption points. These are corruption hits, which means we get to save against them. So, uh, D3 Corruption hits for Bechamel. So she takes two Corruption hits. Let's see if she saves any. She saves both. Doc gets a D3 Corruption hits. He takes two. He saves both. Pete takes one. And he saves. Excellent. That, that worked out well. Then roll a d6 on a 5 or 6. Every hero can draw a loot card. Pull from the rotting carcass. On a roll of 1 or 2, what you thought was a carcass begins to move and stand ambush attack with a low threat card. They are undead and plus 1 defense. And that is it remains in play. Okay, so we're going to roll a d6. A 4. Uh, so nothing else. If I had a fortune point, I would consider... Um, you know, uh, uh, adjusting it up to a five and give everybody a loot card, but such is not the case. Such is, that cannot happen. So that is it for that. So we still have a little bit farther we can go. Let us move on. So we need to hold back the darkness. A nine is good. So. Bechamel will move. Just move two. One, two. Doc moves three. One, two, three. And three. 
Pete moves one and recovers a grit. All right. Pull back the darkness again. Double twos. Double twos in the mine is Dark Dread, so we get to add a Growing Dread card. The growing Dread card is Dripping Gore. The heroes are minus one initiative at the start of the next fight. That's unfortunate. Because uh, it actually has made a difference that, that, that Bechamel and Doc are initiative five. Alright, Bechamel rolling to move. She gets a six. I'm going to wait. So one, two, three, four. I'm just going to stop there. Doc, because we need to let people catch up. Uh, Doc can actually... I, wonder if he, I think he can move, theoretically should be able to move through there, because... But maybe not. Because um, he can move through other models, and that usually means you can move through impassable stuff. But we'll just go that way. And then Pete. One, two, three, four. Let's hold back the darkness again. A ten is good. You guys can see that. Oh, you guys can't see that. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Um, there we go. Good thing I checked. Although the map's going to slide in a moment anyway. Um, Bechamel gets to move. I think I'm going to wait one more turn. Because I, want, I need Doc to, to catch up. So Bechamel will go ahead and move here. But we're not going to look through. Doc... Rolls to move, and he gets a six. Okay, perfect. One, two, three, four. Doc will look through. And let's see what we get. We get the big room. All right, let's scooch everything. This way. sure you guys can see everything. All right, I can move a little bit farther this way. Yeah, all right, that works. Up a little bit so we can get the box on. Yeah, that works pretty well. All right. And that was Doc, so let's go with Pete. Thank you. We'll move up by one. Let us see what this exploration token is. All right, so this is going to be the end, uh, and we are attacked. Plus, we need to roll to see if we're attacked by something else. So let us see. This is a potential dead end showdown. A three, so it will give us a normal threat. So we're going to get two medium threat cards for this tile. Uh, and it is also the end, uh, and you know, so I'm going to well take these off because I know that they're the end. Actually, one of these is a gate, so we'll go ahead and make it straight ahead. Uh, and then what do we get for our threats? We have a D3 Darkstone Brutes and one Wasteland Terralisk. Whoa. All right. And how many Darkstone Brutes? Two. So two Darkstone Brutes and the Wasteland Terrorless, which is a new enemy that I have not fought yet. So, well, that's kind of exciting and terrifying at the same time. All right. So hold on here. All right. So put that gate there. So they've been coming. They're coming out the gate. So we start with the Brutes because they are initiative two. And then the Terrorless. Again, have not, uh, not painted it yet, but I did put it together, much to uh, probably <laughs> my detriment here. Um, he's going to start there. He has an extra large 
enemy here. So the Darkstone Brutes are pretty straightforward. Uh, you know, they are uh, Initiative 2, large. They have smashed. The rolls of 6 will ignore defense. Uh, anytime a hero does one or more wounds, they can collect a dark stone on a d6, uh, d6 roll of 5 or 6. Uh, and then they're crazed if they're attacking more than one adjacent hero. They target every adjacent hero with combat 2 instead. They are immune to critical hits. Uh, they have a 4 plus melee. Um, that's what that 3 2 is. And they do 4 damage. They have a 4 defense and an 8 health. Okay. Now the, the Wasteland Terralisk. All right, initiative three. We haven't looked at this yet, so I don't know. He has terror three, so that's going to suck. Uh, but everybody does currently have some whiskey for when it gets too bad. We need to go quick, though. Brewing tunnel, so he always attacks from ambush, moves through other models, and changes target each turn. So he's actually going to ambush, so we're going to actually need to put him right next to us instead of where he is and decide where he's going to go. Uh, good thing this is a large room. It's going to take the, the Brutes at least one turn to get to us. Uh, uh, the Chitin Plating, so critical hits only reduces defense by 2, or 2-2 two, two, rather than 0. And a Tentacle Maw, at the end of its move, one random adjacent hero must pass an Agility 5 plus S or be swallowed whole. Remove the hero from the board. At the start of the hero's activation turn, they take D6 wounds ignoring defense. I have to make a strike test to climb out. Place a hero in adjacent space to the beast, and that hero is minus one to all two hit rolls until the end of the turn. Uh, and he's got eight combat doing two damage. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, good lord. And he's got uh, 10 health plus five per hero, so he's got 25 health. Oh, good lord. All right, so this kind of is almost an epic threat here uh, that we are facing. For this fellow, not much else we can do. We may need to try to back off, so I'm actually going to put some of these back on because we we want to keep those dark stone brutes out of the fight as, as quickly as we can. Who is the terrorist going to go after? Uh, he wants to go after Pete, so he's actually going to be way back here, which is actually probably going to be a good thing. Um, well, he's going to change. He's going to burrow through uh, every turn. He is plus, uh, though, if he ambushes every turn. Oh, no, he doesn't ambush every turn, but he attacks from ambush. So he's going to go first, actually, at the start of the turn for, the, for this turn. So um, what do we start with? Well, I think we start with we're gonna we're gonna heal we're gonna do our round of healing everybody first. So Bechamel is gonna use her ancient coin. That's her uh, personal item. Once per adventure, fully heal. So she fully heals. She can fully heal herself. Pete will use his canteen on himself. Heal 2d6 wounds. Because he has 7 and he heals all 7. Perfect. And then Doc is going to use his bandages to heal himself for a d6 plus 3. So uh, 6. So he has one wound left. So everybody's basically fully healed. Uh, we do have some sanity damage, which when it gets up there, I mean, the Bechamel's got four. This is going to be the highest. Uh, Pete and Doc both have two sanity. So when it gets cold, when they get around six, we'll, uh, they'll, they'll take their whiskey. But the Terralisk starts on this first ambush round. I'll make sure everybody can see everything. You know what, let's uh, I'm gonna move this up a little bit more. I know it's kind of blocking the dark stone brutes, but let's make sure you get the box. The brutes are, I mean, we've got one turn. They're gonna move, they can move five. So we've got, we've got basically one turn that we can um, deal with them. And I'm trying to remember, I don't remember exactly uh, 
on this map tile, if, those, if that blocks um, line of sight and movement, I know it blocks movement, um, you know, there's no actual squares in there, so I'm going to assume uh, that those probably block both. Um, it's, you know, too tall a pile, basically. Uh, so I'm assuming it's blocking line of sight and movement. So that will be a thing. So, but the Terralisk gets to go first. So the Terralisk starts with, I guess, the Tentacle Maw at the end of, oh, no, uh, Hold Back the Darkness needs to go first. Duh, 10 is good. Now, all right, so at the end of its move, one random adjacent hero must pass an Agility 5 Plus test or be swallowed whole. So. Pete has an agility of three because of with his uh, ribbon. So five plus agility test or get swallowed up, which he succeeds with great. And he goes, "Oh, what the crap!" And now there's eight dice. Get it on four. On the piece. Uh, nothing special for it, though. All right. That's five hits. That's above average. So five defense rolls, a four plus. Blocks three. They only do two points of damage each. Um, does he use a grit? Otherwise, there'll be four wounds. You know what? I think we'll take it. I think he's going to wait. He's going to potentially use his grit for shooting and damage. So we start with Bechamel, or actually, I guess we could start with we could start with no, nah, let's start with Bechamel, because uh, she wants to try to get some stun markers on that Terralisk uh, to drop its defense down. So rolls the move. She's got plenty, so she's gonna go one. All right, she's, she needs to try to escape, uh, and his escape is a four plus. She succeeds. Two, three, uh, four. One, two, three. Okay, yep. So she's four away. And then she will take her shot. Or shots. Uh, so she gets one hit. So that will be one stun marker. And then uh, she does damage equal to three. And it was a critical, but the critical, so that does one win, right? Because he takes. So that's unfortunate. Not much else. Oh, and she needs to take her three terror. And she saves all of them. All right. That was Bechamel, so Doc rolls to move. Okay, so he moves uh, one, two. Actually, he can move through. He passes escape test, so he's actually going to move through. Uh, except he can't, because he can only move three. So he's just going to move there. And then... He's going to swing with the Vicious Axe. I don't think there's anything else worth doing at this point uh, that he can do anyway. Uh, let's see. Yep. All right, well, we'll re-roll one of them for free. It does nothing. That is unfortunate. Uh, Terralisk is gone. Dark Zone Bruce don't get. So Pete gets to go. So Pete 
is going to attempt to escape. Uh, he has a bandana. Oh, roll the move, first of all. Ooh, a one. That would get him a grit. Um, which he'll use for an additional move. So he can move a total of four. Try to escape. He succeeds. So he will go one, two, three, four, five. All right. Make sure everybody's on the board. Oh, they're not. Sorry. <laughs> Just good thing I checked. We would have played with them completely uh, off the table. Here. Oh, and I forgot on this map tile we can't use grit. So that that kind of sucks. Um, so never mind. Um, he simply goes there. Okay. Well, that's going to be problematic fighting fighting this uh, Terralisk. I think, without being able to use any grit. Um, but I don't know that there's much else we can do. Um, yeah, so there's not much not much else we can do here. Um, we'll just need to try. Um, so yeah, I, I think uh, since Pete can only move one, because he can't use grit, he's just going to shift over one, I guess. And then he's going to take his shots. Um, I think he's still going to use the gunfighter's pistol by itself. We need some critical hits, even though... Well, you know... Whew. Maybe not. He has defense 3 now. He would, be, he would become defense... I think with the stun marker, he's a 3 defense. A critical hit would drop it to a one. But I do get two more two more dice. Um the three defense. Now you know what? It's basically plus one damage. Or sorry, plus Well that assumes I do a critical. Um, all right, let's let's just do again. Let me just stick with what I normally do. Let's do fall. We're gonna. He's gonna do both both barrels. Yep. So two hits, no criticals. Can't use grit to reroll. Um, could take some wounds to do some extra damage. Don't think it's worth it. Uh, he has three defense, so that's gonna be three wounds. Done. Not great. Uh oh, he needs to. Oh, Doc didn't make his. I don't remember, Doc needs to make his terror. Let's uh, see, so he takes one sanity. And Pete takes two points of sanity. So getting up there a little bit and. Insanity, but we've got a little bit of time, and we do have said so we do have uh, whiskey. It's simply a matter of I don't know that we can kill the Terrorist fast enough. So it is now the Brutes' turn, so they're gonna move five. I'm kind of move this out of the way for the moment. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. They don't have any ranged attacks, so I don't have to worry about them for the moment. I'll kind of swing this around, I think, to get us. Make sure the box. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Now we do get to go first, though. We do get to go before the Terralisk. Since he is no longer the ambush turn, so he drops down to initiative three. So he's going to go before Pete, but. Uh, Doc and Bechamel get to go. So let's do this. So we'll start with uh, Bechamel. So she rolls to move. Oh, awesome. So she's not going to move anywhere. 
but she does regain a grit and that lets her regain a fortune. Uh, and then we will sh then she will shoot. Okay, one hit, uh, which is a critical. Uh, I think I'm going to save the fortune. And she can't use her grit, so one hit. It's a critical that will be another stun marker for him. All right, so that will be a second stun, so good. We're going to keep his defense down. And then roll for damage. Five plus one is six. Minus two is four, so it's going to be four more wounds. So getting up there. So Doc, all right, Doc, roll the move, uh, four, all right, so Doc is actually, because so, he can move through other models, he's actually going to jump around to this side. That'll get him out of the range of the brute, excuse me. Uh, and then he's going to swing with his vicious axe and hopefully be vicious. Vicious, vicious. No. Well, he gets one hit. Not a critical, though. Uh, there is a three defense. Three, but he gets plus one damage. So that is one more wound. Um, oh, right. And then, you know, I completely forgot... Pete needs to use his lasso. Crap. Uh, can I back up here? I'm going to use his lasso on it. Um, actually, that would be a question. Yeah, let's let's lasso on it. Um, and that gives, basically, plus two damage. So plus one for Bechamel's attack, plus one for... Because, uh, again, the lasso... Uh, reduces combat by one and the defense by one. So, so it's one more damage for him, one more damage for him. So that's two more points of damage, which is four, five, six. And it will apply basically one more point of damage for his attacks. So, um, uh, no, it won't, because, yeah. Well, retroactively, he should have done it on his turn, right? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to worry about it. If he had done it on his turn, then he would have gotten, for his hits last turn, would have all been basically plus one damage. And then, because knowing that we go first, basically twice in a row, that would have been the time to, to do it. Um, right after the Terralisk went, and then they went. I, you know, got to remember those things, but uh, that's about all you can do. Uh, but that gave him two more. That's worth two points of damage. So, uh, and if we really luck out, maybe, maybe the, um, the creature won't, the Terralisk won't break free. Unlikely, but... Speaking of which, it is the Terralisk. So the Terralisk says also that he's going to change his targets each turn. So who's he going to target? Sorry, I was interrupted by my dog. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what I was talking about other than the lasso. Um, anyway, potentially he might not free himself. But the Terralisk gets to go. So the Terralisk... Changes targets every turn. That's right. That's where we were. Moves through other models and changes targets each turn. So, who does he go after? <clears throat> He's going after Pete again. Okay. Um, and they move as far as they can. So, what that means to me is he's going to come here and actually block the... Uh, block the Darkstone Brutes. Yep, sounds, sounds like sounds like it to me. So he pops up over there after his movement. Pete has to make his agility test. 
which he fails because he cannot re-roll. Um, all right, well, that's I'm not going to do it. So I, I'm not going to use the fortune point for it. So let's let's see what happens. So Pete is swallowed whole, but means he's not getting attacked. Oh, and we also need to check for the lasso. Actually, uh, a strength five plus. Sorry, uh, six plus with two successes. Uh, yeah, so that the lasso is broken. Big, big surprise. You know, extra large enemy. So, uh, and it would be at the start of the hero's activation, which is now. So he's going to take a d6 wounds, ignoring defense. So he takes three wounds. Seven of his twelve. Then he can make a strength five plus test to climb out. Which he fails. You know what? But it's a five plus. I wish, wish we could use grit. Not being able to use grit is just so, so horrible. So horrible to fight on. Um, do I do I use? I mean, there's oh no, there's a four. Okay, duh, there's a four. I'm gonna use the fortune bechamel. She's going to make a luck test, try to adjust that four up by one, which she gets one success, so she does. That's a five. So Pete can pop out. Bloop. And then he's going to be minus one on us to hit rolls. So, he does get to shoot. All right. Uh, did I do Did I do any of their terror? I just realized. Did I do any of their terror this turn? Um, for Bechamel and Doc? Oh, and I need to roll for one of the stuns on the terror list. So he does get rid of one of the stones. Okay. Um, well, I don't recall, so I'm just going to ignore it for now. Um, I, you know what? I think I didn't. Just looking at their, at their. Well, maybe I did. I might have. All right. So I'm just going to ignore it. So Pete take Pete gets one sanity. Boom, that puts him to five. Uh, and then he gets to shoot. Uh, he gets to roll the move. And that. Oh, he does move. Big move. Escape. Fails. He gets to re-roll. Fails. All right. Too bad. He had a big move, but he can't escape. All right, so he is just going to... Shoot and with minus one to hit and not being able to use grit. Um, golly, I don't know if it's better to just get off this tile then um, because this is just horrible. Um, all right, well, that's all Pete can do. Uh, so these guys are just going to kind of pile up here. They can't. They can't go anywhere. Um, I mean, conceivably, we could back up, back up a bit, um, but we're well. We can't really charge forward at this point because they're blocking the way. All right. Well, bechamel to move. She gets a four. One, two, three, four. I guess we're good with that. Oops, sorry. These are all his wounds. Rolling to hit. Well, she gets one hit. 
damage is, um, and that does put another stun. So damage does plus one, or doesn't do plus one, but it does. Uh, he's a three, so a five does two wounds. Not a lot. We're chipping away. How much did he have? He had 25, and we're at 13. Oh, yeah. Halfway, just now. The bechamel needs to roll better, unfortunately. She's still not very good with her sh with her shotgun. Uh, and she needs to make her terror test. So she takes two more points of sanity, which I think is six. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. So she's gonna take drink a whiskey and heal one. Wonderful, wonderful luck that we are having right now. All right, Doc. Doc makes his terror roll. Takes one more point of sanity. He's up to four, uh, and then he will roll to move. I don't remember Doc getting? Oh yeah, because. The terrorist moved. Okay. So one, two, three. And then Doc will attack. Make sure I'm not. You re roll this one. So one hit. How much damage? Armor of three. That does three damage. So it bounces. Yay! Oh boy. Cannot catch a break here. All right, Mr. Terralisk. So who's he going to attack? He's going to attack Pete again. Well, huh. Hold on here. I don't think he can move anywhere. All right, so they can't move through heroes. So... Uh, oh, but he can move through other models. But he can't... He can't push... Oh, sorry. He moves through. Duh. Um, okay. So, first, uh, does he get rid of a stun marker? He does. Okay. Then, he gets to move, and he's going after Pete. But he can't, he can't get in here, right? Because there's no space, and he can't actually displace heroes. So, he just stays there. Uh, and again, he's sma snacking on Pete, which there's not a lot we can do, poor Petey. Um, but, end of his move, uh, Pete has to make an agility test or get swallowed again. So, again, three dice for agility and he can five plus. He succeeds. Yay, he's not swallowed. Okay. And eight dice against Pete. Hitting on fours, so miss, 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 miss. Good. So three hits. Pete gets three defense. He saves two, so it takes two wounds. That's useful. And then it's Pete's turn. So terror. He takes two sanity. Okay, which puts him to seven. Uh, and so he will go ahead and um, roll the move two. He will attempt to escape, which he does. And then uh, he's going to go ahead and use a whiskey to heal three sanity. Put him back down to four. Then he's gonna shoot. Now, you know what? He's still stunned. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna he's gonna shoot with both pistols again. Something's gotta give. And we can't use grit to re-roll anything. So one hit. You know, that's a that's a good thing anyway. It does six minus three is gonna be three more wounds. Five, so 15, 16 of his 
25. All right, hold back the darkness. Oh, because, yeah, these guys can't do anything. So a six will fail. Put this up there. What else have we got? Um, bechamel. Rolling for her terror. It takes me one more point of sanity. So up to six of ten. Doc, oh sorry, and then she gets to shoot. Uh, roll the move. Nope. Um, she will go ahead and back up one. Ah. All right, still one hit. That's a critical. So how much damage does it do? And that will give another stun. Nice, so nine. Uh, and he is a two minus one is a one. So that's going to do eight points of damage. One point shy. Awesome. All right, and then maybe we can try to run through to the other side, um, past the brutes, and get into a room that doesn't require us to not be able to use uh, our grit. So Doc gets to go. Uh, Terror. So he takes one point of sanity. It puts him up at five. Gonna be, it's gonna be close. All right, so he's gonna swing. One hit, not a critical. Oh, he can re-roll. Still one hit, not a critical. Rolling for damage. Uh, oops, get it in the box would be nice. No, no, ugh. Doc. Doc. All right, sorry, dog, again. Um, uh, anyway, uh, Doc, spectacular failure, um, does three points of damage, and of course, the Terrorist has three points of defense, so we could not do the one point of damage that we needed, so we do have to do one more round with the Terralisk. Uh, and it is the Terralisk's uh, turn, so what does the Terralisk do? Uh, so first, does he get rid of a stunned? He does not, okay. Um, now who does he go after? He goes after Doc, all right. So he's gonna, he's gonna move, boom. Come after Doc. That's good news, I guess, since Doc He's not particularly wounded. Uh, however, Doc has to make an agility test or be swallowed. And he succeeds. Excellent. And then eight dice against Doc. Hitting on fours. It's like three hits. So Doc gets to make three defense tests. Doesn't make any, so that's gonna be six wounds. Oops, my bad. Six wounds on Doc. Unfortunate, but he can he can last for the moment anyway. All right, so where are the brutes? The brutes finally get to get in, um, and they can reach either or any of them. So the first brute is going for Pete. Two, three, four, five, five. Okay. The second one, uh, well, is going for Doc because he can't reach Bechamel. So, you know what? Let's let's see who he would go for. One, two, three. So he'd go for Bechamel. So let's just do it this way. 
So he goes to Bechamel. He goes for Doc. Or for Peep. Fair enough. <clears throat> so, Dark Stone Brutes. So, uh, if there's more than one in the jury, they're going to do two combat to each. So, each of them are going to do two combat on each. Um, well, actually, he won't because he's not adjacent, but he will. So, we'll go ahead and do him. He's going to do two on each. So, two on Bechamel. Two hits, one of which ignores defense. So that's going to do four points of damage to Bechamel. And then she gets a defense roll, which fails. That's going to do another four. Let's put your one away from being knocked out. Bah humbug. Uh, and then two on Pete, both miss. Then he gets three attacks on Pete. One hits and ignores defense is going to be four wins. And that is enough to knock Pete out. So we use our revive and Pete is fully healed. Okay, and then it is Pete's turn. Um, and then, so Pete will roll for his movement. Okay. Um, you know, he'll roll to escape. Uh, which he does. So he'll actually go one, two, three, four. He's no longer on this tile. Huzzah. Uh, and then he's going to shoot. He will spend a grit. Hooray, he can spend a grit. So Reroll all of these crappy misses. Change, change out the dice there. Maybe get better luck. Make sure you guys can see bechamel in there. Yeah. Much better. All right. So, uh, pistol hit on him is a four. Minus three is one. That is enough to kill him. Hooray. All right, Darkstone Brute. They got eight health and a four defense, which is which is unfortunate. So, uh, pistol hit. Actually, let's hit him. Pistol hit. Um, does nothing. Because they've got a four defense. Does nothing. Does nothing. Um, actually, yeah, yeah. Let's we'll, we'll do we'll do does nothing. Okay. So didn't didn't do much of anything. Uh, so we start um, hold back the darkness. Uh, you know what? We're gonna use the special lantern. Ten is good. And that was not doubles. Uh, Bechamel will go first, so she's going to roll for her movement. Is a one, uh, gets her grit and a fortune, uh, which will help. She's going to try to escape. They have a three plus. Uh, one will not, so she's stuck there. All right, and then she's going to shoot. Two hits, two criticals. Excellent. Rolling for damage. Plus one on each die. 
Um, she's actually going to spend her fortune to reroll this one. It's a different die. Okay, excellent. So, uh, but they're immune to critical. Crap, I forgot about that. Um, but we are plus one on each die. And then minus... Uh, minus four. So, two wounds. Really? Yeah, and she can't... She can't grit. Alright, this is gonna be... It's gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough. Um... Oh, by the way, I did decide, obviously, not to run. I'm hoping that we can... Uh, you know, it, it sucked that she couldn't uh, escape. Uh, that is the that is the thing that I was really hoping she could do to, to back up, but um, well, she can't. So, uh, Doc. Uh, and then he will attack. Reroll. Alright, well, one hit. Doc, you suck. Uh, oops. Damage. Five and one is six. Two more wounds. Oh, did I do, do, do the brutes before I did, Pete? Uh, I don't remember at this point. All right, Pete's going to go. They're immune to critical hits. Uh, so Pete's just going to shoot. Shooting, hopefully we're going to... Well, I doubt that he's going to be able to kill this one. Still need four more wounds, but... Uh, yep, yeah, uh, so two hits. They are immune to criticals, so he will spend a grit. To re-roll. Alright, so four hits. Minus four on each die. Oh, she did hit. I completely forgot. She hit him, uh, and he stunned. Uh, she hit him twice, actually. So he's actually minus one on his armor. So minus three on each die. Uh, I meant to roll them one at a time. Um, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. All right, so two more wounds. On this fellow, so he's at six of eight. Could not quite kill him. So I think Bechamel's going to get a wound because she's going to get knocked out, which is going to be unfortunate. But what can you do? Not much. Um, so um, who is he going to target? Uh, he's going to target Doc, so he's going to move around here, past the corpse. So he attacks Doc, two dice, three dice, one hit. Doc goes for his defense, he fails, so Doc takes four wounds. Does that put Doc out? Eleven! No, Doc is one away. Alright, and he is going to attack Bechamel. And of course, he rolls a six. So she can't block it. So she's knocked out. She's KO'd. Boom. Oh, and we need to roll to see if he, if he does get rid of a stun. Alright, um, well, start of the turn. I think we have to run. Um, Doc. We can't kill both of them. We've all, we can all, we might be able to kill one, um, but if Doc takes one more hit, he's going to be injured as well. Well, we spend all our money on that. We spend all our money on that. What the heck? No guts, no glory. Um, I guess we need the experience. So we'll start with Doc. Uh, 
Roll the move. Okay, uh, he's good. So attacks. It's his reroll. Two hits. All right. Uh, so the first hit, I got him a minus. Uh, well, we're plus one there. So we're plus one, so that's a three and three. Okay, so that will bounce. And the next one. Good lord, Doc. Come on. All right. To Pete, um, does he get a grit? He does not. Roll the move. He does not. All right. Pete needs to kill his one. Jeez, uh, I hit that die, and I don't know if that was a hit or not. All right, I guess we'll say no. So two hits. Minus three, so we need a... Ah, we can't even do this. Need like double sixes. Doesn't do anything. All right, who does he go for? He's gonna go for Pete. Which means he goes for Doc. So the one on Doc completely misses. Well, that's something. The one on Pete does four, and then Pete gets a defense, which blocks it. So Pete takes four. Uh, you know, Pete probably should have just taken the two to kill and killed that guy. Um, for the gunfire's pistol. Oh well. Uh, again, another one of those things to try to remember. All right. Start of the turn. Does Pete get a grit? He does not. Doc gets to go. Um, actually, you know what? Doc. Doc's got. No, Doc doesn't have any grit. Roll the move. Oh, I forgot. Bechamel has. Oh no, she doesn't have a fortune. She just has grit. Which you couldn't use. Alright, Doc. Ooh, Doc gets a grit. Not that it can help. Um, but he'll see if he can escape. He can. So he'll get one closer anyway. And roll into attack. And the re roll. Two hits. Neither one does diddly squat. Yeah, another one does anything. Too much armor, too much defense. Um, Pete, Pete gets to go. Uh, roll the move. No, no grit. One hit, really one hit. One friggin' hit. Five dice, hitting on fours, and he gets one hit. Um, and it does nothing. All right. They get their one attack. I should have run. I should have run. I just thought I could finish off that one guy, but... The dice are hating us. Um, all right. Well, there's one hit on Doc. He can't dodge it, so that will knock him out. Uh, and then attacking Pete. Misses. Alright, well Pete's gonna run. Both 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 Bechamel and um Docker down. I'm not gonna I'm not just not gonna deal with it. Uh, that was very disappointing. Um, it didn't actually feel like it did better with with their weapons. Um, you know, I mean, it was nice. Bechamel having the minus one defense for, for, for doing the stuns, you know, was great. But, uh, yeah, that didn't, uh, was not enough, uh, and they just weren't hitting when they needed to hit. Um, 
So, the darkness will escape. Um, we're going to have to roll for extra travel hazards. Uh, and, of course, a random building in town will have been destroyed. Um, this, the fighting in this room, having this, not, not using grit really hurt as well. Uh, Bashamel had two grit that she couldn't do. Um, but the problem is I didn't want to get stuck in with the, with the brutes. Um, and we couldn't back up enough uh, to get out of, out of that room with the Tarlisk. So it was just, it, uh, that was, I think, a big, uh, a big thing for this um, that really hurt us, was not being able to use the grit against the Tarlisk. Um, we might have been able to beat him up faster. But it is what it is. Well, we finally get to do some injuries. Doc will be able to attempt to heal an injury during surgery. Uh, he is once per adventure or town spay. He can use a grit to choose an injury mutation on another hero. So he won't be able to do his own. We'll have to pay for that. Unfortunately, we don't get another loot. This was only the second fight. And we couldn't see, even get through this. Uh, but we killed. We did kill a Terralisk. And these were large enemies. Um, and does that mean that they were per hit? Yeah, they were per hit. So we'll get a little bit of more experience from the guy that's almost dead. And, you know, not much else to say. We've got a fair amount for the Scafford gang. That should put us up enough. Um, with the encounter experience and everything to level up and I very well will probably actually just even out all of the experience and have you know even for, from from the things like scavenging and for the encounters uh, just to keep everybody leveling up at the same time it'll make, make it easier for bookkeeping for me so I, I think I'm thinking that that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna have a, a single experience total for the group, essentially, and uh, just do it that way. But, woof, that was rough. Um, they're just so squishy right now, uh, without armor, and you know, said not being able to use grit in that basically for that last boss fight because the, he, that terrorist really was kind of a boss, and. Certainly, kind of rough for for first level characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not much. I mean, the brutes themselves. Uh, you know, this is where where it gets into well, the core set uh, tentacles and bats. You know, are, are well, with tentacles are being kind of tough, but the bats and the uh, spiders, you know, being super easy to kill. Uh, you know, makes it those are much better first level character enemies to be facing. But, uh, you know, it's, it's not bad to have any challenge um, and losing a few. They'll, we'll eventually pick up, um, you know, cross our fingers that the injuries aren't too bad and too dangerous. Uh, we will have to worry about corruption because we do have a fair amount of dark stone, so we very well may have uh, people mutate. Um, Pete has four corruption already, uh, and we'll, we'll probably end up giving Doc all the dark stone, put it, stash it on his corpse, since he's got the best willpower save, and he has no corruption points right now, whereas the other two have corruption points. But next time in town, uh, you know, we may not be getting Doc a new weapon because we have corruption to get rid of. We're probably going to have at least we're, we're going to have at least one injury to try to get healed, uh, the one on Doc, assuming Doc doesn't doesn't get, uh, you know, manages to, to heal Bechamel uh, for, of her injury. Now, it's possible that they, they may have an injury that isn't going to cause any problems and we can wait, but we didn't really gain a lot uh, in that turn. Uh, in, in this adventure. So, yeah, it is what it is. There's not much, not much we can we can do about that. So, but uh, overall, we did kind of survive. We had some really horrible rolling, and we'll just have to see what comes 
when uh, we hit town. Uh, again, we're going to go to large towns. So we'll have lots of travel hazards as well. Uh, but it, but you know, it's an exciting ride, I guess. Uh, even without a, an epic threat, we still run into big monsters that we can't handle uh, at level one. So, hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you next week. Bye.